Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark. I'm here again with Steve. We're talking Final Cut Pro 10.1, continuing our discussion about the new library model and the implications of the library model. And today we're going to dive inside the library and talk a little bit about how to work with events. Yes, because events are the primary receptacles of your media. <laughs> receptacles? Yes, or folders, buckets, or buckets or yeah. yeah. Containers? Uh, containers, yes. Okay. I actually, events are, are like buckets and containers. If you, if you look here, um, for example, here's the San Francisco Library. Mm -hmm. Inside, I created a bucket or a, an event called Bay Bridges that contains just my Bay Bridges clips, as you can see and here. And your project and as well. And my project, exactly. Yes. Uh, same thing, my, well, this is all my Pure 39 clips, et cetera, et cetera. So you get the idea that events are really kind of the prime way that you organize things within Final Cut Pro 10. And just to remind if folks, if you haven't watched a couple previous episodes, um, events now contain the projects associated with them. So there's yes. no separate project library. That has been integrated. So you can see here that you've got the projects associated with a particular event right there in the event. Exactly. So let's talk a little bit about moving clips between events and what, what the implications of that are. Okay. okay. So here I have a clip. It looks like it doesn't belong. That, well, yeah, this is a, from a short film I'm, I'm, sh I'm editing right now called Second Impressions. Uh, this was shot down at San Diego, and we got this couple, and then this helicopter, what's it, <laughs> what's it doing there? Um, well, first of all, let's look at copying a clip from one event to another that's in the same library. Okay. And then we'll talk about what are the implications when you copy that clip from one event to another event that's in a different, a different library. library. Okay. Right. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab this clip. And I'm just going to drag it where it belongs, on the saber cat. Sabercat, yes. Right. Now, by default, it's a move. In other words, when I release my mouse, this clip will be moved into this okay. event and will be moved out of the second impressions Which event. is what you want. It doesn't belong there. I right. guess you, you accidentally imported it into that last week. That's right. Okay. Now, but here's the thing. What if I don't want it moved? What if I want two versions? I want, two of the I want the same clip in two events. Okay. You just add a modifier key. Hold the down option the option key. key and look at that, you get a the plus. plus sign. Okay. The plus sign. So That's I'm going to be, I'm gonna be okay. copying. That's pretty standard, yes, right? Yes. But like you said, I don't really want to copy it, I want to move it. Okay. So I'm going to release my option key, and then just there you go. Now, if I click the Sabercat event, uh, that clip will appear in here. I don't know which one it was, <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, let's see, it was. Oh, was that one was sitting there? It is. I think it was Thank right you. There. That's yeah, it. There's yeah, there's yeah. So there's the. There's and the it's clip. gone. It's gone from the second press. Yeah, event. it's, it's, it's no just not there, there anymore. Yeah. And this is an important point. All we're doing, all I'm doing is moving clips, which are references. I'm not moving any media. Nothing has taken place on the actual hard drive. I'm just moving the reference from one event to the right. other. And just to be clear, because because they're in the same library, even though you, even though you may have original media, in other words, it's a managed library, mm -hmm. you're still not really moving media around on the hard drive at all. No. Okay. But you might be moving it in this next thing I'm going to show you. Okay. Okay. Let's say that I wanted this clip, this helicopter landing clip, to be in this Arizona uh, event in the Discover the Southwest. This okay. clip really needs to be there, but notice it's a completely separate library. Separate library, right. So let's see what happens when we do that. So I'm gonna grab this clip and drop it into the Arizona episode. Oh, wait, are you holding the option key? No, now? I'm not holding oh, the option key. Okay. This is a very important point, is that when you cross library boundaries, like yes. I'm about doing, I'm about to do, it's by default a copy operation. Yes, it yes. has to copy the media. Okay. Okay. So, in fact, I like to tell people, and I said this in our in depth, that I consider libraries as their own little countries. And when you're mo and the clips themselves are the citizens. As soon as you move uh, that citizen out of one out of one library into the other, you're putting it into another country, and it becomes a full fledged citizen. Of oh, that it's country. a member. Yeah. And yeah, now it yeah. belongs there. It's so, emigrating. Yeah. yeah. So, so by the default, it's a copy operation. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and release my mouse, and I'll get this window. We talked a lot about this. This idea of managed library versus external, external media. media. Yes. Now, what's, let me summarize what's actually here. Don't, you don't want to just ignore this, but you need to understand what's telling you. Yeah, usually say here. if you see a big dialogue, just, just click ignore okay. it. But now we actually want to talk about it. We do it. want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, basically what happens is if your library is managed, which means you actually have a real clip you're moving, yes. it's going to copy that clip into the target library. Yes. Okay. If the clip that you're moving into the target library is a SIM clip, it's not a real clip because it's, the media exists somewhere else, yes. it will only copy the SIMs but still reference the original the media on that drive. Thing. Okay. That's huge. It will never move media for you for, yes. to another location. It's just going to copy SIM links and then reference them. And that, that's one of the rules we talk about in our, in our training that 
Final Cut Pro managed means it manages, but if you've got external media, it will never move it or delete that external media. Exactly. It'll just move around references to that media. Yep. And you'll also notice here that you can, if you have optimized or proxy, it will actually move that media. Now, <laughs> the thing about, there's no SIM references for optimized or proxy. It has to move that media or yep, copy that media it. into the yep, target yep, library. Yep. So you have to decide whether you want to do that or not. Um, well, if you're using proxy, you're probably going to check it and click OK. I'm not going to go ahead and do that now. Yes. But I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now when I go to the Arizona episode one, there is that clip. Yeah, put it right in there. And it still exists in the other one because you did it as a copy Because a completely separate um, operation. Yes. Because I have, again, it's, I put it into its own library. And it really doesn't matter if these two libraries are on the same volume or on separate drives. That's a really good point. It'll, it'll, it'll do the same thing. It will. And, and again, you have to think of libraries as little self-contained islands, like, yes. I, like I said, like countries that uh, they have their own governments and their own citizens okay. that are managed by that. Makes perfect okay. sense. So, so here I have this clip. And let's talk quickly about deleting media. Okay. okay so I'm going to go ahead and right click on here, and it's actually a move to trash operation. Okay. Right? Um, when you move to trash, you're going to be flagged saying, you know, you're going to be moving this to the trash. And what it says here, uh, one or more media files will be moved to the trash since the last reference to them is being deleted. Now, this is important here. Um, yes. Because this, this is only one clip with only one piece of media, it's going to actually trash the clip and the media. Because, because the media is inside the library. It's a managed clip. It's, it's a managed clip. Managed. Okay. That's right. So if yes. I click OK right now, yeah. it's going to... It'll delete that, that copy of that clip in that library. Yeah. It will go away completely. Well, actually, it's going to do two things. It's going to delete the clip and the media. It's going to be trash because there was only one clip reference to that. Right. It, oh, OK. So now it'll be gone from the other volume as well. No, it's still there because it's in its own separate that, that's library. That's its own separate library. So okay, separate great. Library. So you're never, so that's a really important thing to understand is anything that you do within one library is not going to affect other libraries at yeah. all. That's where you're really safe. And there's a lot of things going on under the hood to make sure as you move clips or even full projects between libraries, a library always stays self-contained and there's no way you're going to somehow hurt another library or need another library. So right. those libraries could be closed while you're doing this stuff. You're never referring one library to another. Right. And then, boy, it's a huge topic of media yes. management. Yes. Uh, in, in our in-depth, Mark goes through like a 45-minute dissertation on, <laughs> on what to do, how to manage, move, how to copy it, how to hand yep. it off, how to archive it. It's totally worth watching because you'll, you'll just get it if you just yeah. watch this section. Um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about, it's pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, yeah. I just wanted to show you what's happening under the hood with your media once you move it yes. um, with it between uh, events that are in the same library and once you move that media, and once you move that media out of the event into a, an event of a different library. Perfect. Makes great sense. And Fonica warns you if you're going to do something that you might delete something. So um, I, I'm really loving the whole model and how this works now. Oh, it's fantastic. Great. It's fantastic. So uh, if you want to learn more, again, about how to use this library model in Final Cut Pro 10.1, uh, we have a training specifically Final Cut Pro 10.1 in depth that really explains this model in depth, as well as all the new editing feature enhancements as well. So rippletraining.com for that. Uh, thank you, Steve. And uh, check us out going forward. We're going to keep going more into this. And thanks again for watching MacBreak Studio.